In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 20 through to 28. And many of them said, He has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Others said, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Now it was the feast of dedication in Jerusalem, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you did not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you do not believe, because you are not of my sheep, as I told, said to you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, that they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. In the reading from St. John's Gospel today, there are two little subheadings. Jesus gives life to the sheep. And the second, I, my Father, are one. We read in this gospel how when Jesus, the feast of the dedication, went up to the temple in Jerusalem. Many people were saying, he has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Others said, these are not the words of the one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? There was conflict between them. Some were saying he has a demon. And others say, no. How can a demon open the eyes of the blind? How many of you now listening or watching are blind? Do you see what is being said here in this reading from the Gospel? This good news. I question him. How long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. You can see the frustration that's there. But they are blind. They're deaf. They cannot hear the, what Jesus is teaching them. I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name they bear witness of me. But you do not believe, because you are not of my sheep, as I said to you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Are we Jesus' sheep. Do we follow Jesus? Truly do we follow him? 
we hear his voice? Do we follow him? Or expecting something else, are we? Ask yourself. Meditate about this. Open your ears and your eyes to what you see around you, to what you read. Open your ears to the Holy Spirit as he guides you during this great Lent. Open your eyes and your ears, especially during this epidemic, this terrible thing that is afflicting the world. We are followers of Christ. We must show our faith to people. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. We are the sheep in this reading we're talking about now. And as sheep, they follow the shepherd. So too, we must follow Christ, who is the good shepherd. He laid down his life for his sheep. He laid down his life for you, for me, for the whole world. And what is expected? That we have belief in him. We hear his words. We hear his teachings and follow him. On this journey to Calvary, which we are now on, listen, listen to that voice of the shepherd, follow him, he will take care of you and me. Give them, and I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Glory to God for all things, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.